We moguls and we brand it. Yeah. So mogul printing, that's the vehicle, you know what I mean? That's uh, where I first got my start professionally designing graphics, you feel me? Me and Mac met at down AO Boutique at the um, Old Town Mall location. I was doing murals on the wall for, uh, you know, various brands. And he was like, man, you doing all that off the top of your head? I was like, yeah, I'm just getting to it. I had a little airbrush at the time. So then he was like, yo, I need you to come do a mural at, the, at my shop. So that's my first introduction to mobile print. You feel me? I went to the shop. I put the mural on the wall. And then um, from there, he was like, yo, so what else you be doing with this art? I was like, yeah, I just got into uh, doing like flyers and logos and stuff. He was like, yo, that's exactly what I need. Yeah, you know what I mean? A, a graphic designer to go along with my roster of other graphic designers I got. So I was like, bet. So he started sending me some jobs and the people was loving it. So here we are, fast forward. Um, that's around the same time he was launching the branded imprint, you know, that's under mobile printing. And you fast forward to today, I have my own release under branded, um, which is the Animosity Collection. That's where uh, the branded uh, mascot is the bull, right? So we came up with a um, with a scheme since all the other like a lot of the other mainstream corporate brands use, utilize animals as their mascots, right? We wanted to have you know we designed um, the hating crowd around our bull based off of some of the likeness of some of those animals. Like we got the angry alligator, we got the bougie giraffe. You feel me? We got the um, we also got the you know what I mean the stuck up man on the horse and shit. So, you know, um, that's part of my animosity collection that's available on the website now, uh, mogulprint.com. And then here we, we doing the um, lookbook photo shoot to get some of those brands and some of those looks out there to the public so they can see what, exactly what we got going on. Well, um, since a kid, I always was able to draw, you feel me? Um, when I graduated high school, college really wasn't my thing. So I went to the army out of high school, right? And what the job I selected was a multimedia illustrator. I didn't even know the government or the army had that shit available. You feel me? But they, when I was picking my job, they asked me what could I do well because I was like, it was they give you this big book like this, and um, yo, we got so many jobs, and they're like, yo, I don't know what to pick. They'd be like, well, what can you do well? I'm like, oh shit, I can draw. Yeah, like, so he he pulled up like ten jobs that had something to do with that. So I found multimedia illustrator, and shit, I went through basic training just like a regular soldier, right? Then they sent me to this. Um, sit, they sent me to the uh, graphic school, where for six months I learned computer graphics, real shit. I ended up graduating out of that class with the um, award as the best person in the class. You feel me? Um, but needless to say, they, they showed me a Photoshop, Illustrator, all of that in the army. Yo, taught me how to do all that shit. So it, it's funny. I'm just getting to now. That was in '99. So that, I'm just getting to now where um, I'm utilizing it, but I, I definitely learned it from Uncle Sam. And, and then I want to leave you with this tidbit about that, right? Guess how many days I ever designed did design anything in the army on graphics? Never. <laughs> Yo, I, I finished that school. They sent me to Fort Bragg and gave me a rifle with a 50 cal. <laughs> I'm looking to uh, really cement my name as as one of the as globally one of the top designers. I feel as though I do have the skill set to do that. Um, I feel as though right now I'm already one of the premier designers in the town. Whether you heard my name or not, you've pretty much seen my work because I've designed for a lot of people. I really don't promote myself because once once people found out and I started doing quality work, the, the, the name started speaking for itself. And before I could even make any promo, my inbox was full. So I do apologize if you haven't seen any advertisement, but I, I'm pretty sure you've seen my work. So I'm just looking for, you know, now I'm local. I want to be international. You feel me? We moguls and we branded. Yeah. Content complex.